Hi guys, this is Manik. I am an SD at Amazon. I joined Amazon 11 months back and uh, as a data engineer intern and I got converted to a software development engineer. There are many students on LinkedIn who have asked me like, Bhaiya, what actually did you do to get into Amazon? Because you are also from a tire, means you are not from IIT or NIT. So what and what shall we do now? to get into Amazon. This is a similar question which I asked to a senior in IIT Hyderabad when I went in first year. Uh, I asked him, uh, I wanted to get into IIT, but I did not get. So now what am I supposed to do to be at the place where you are? So he gave me an advice and he said that, bro, do one thing, explore all the facilities of your college and then use them. It was kind of an inspiration to me. So in this video also, I would want to share a few tips which anyone can use to get into Amazon. This is particularly for those students who asked me on LinkedIn that uh, we want to get into Amazon. There were many questions. So I thought, why not make a video? Okay. So yeah, let's get started. So I, I would keep the video short and I would want to try to answer the very important questions which are required to get into Amazon. So yeah, let's get started. The first question was uh, areas to focus on in, during your engineering so that you can get into companies like Amazon, Microsoft or Google. So these, so these are the subjects which you should focus on. Data structures and algorithms, networking and operating systems. And uh, apart from them, you, can, you should focus on da databases, that is DBMS. So these are the four subjects I would say that you should really focus on so that you have a tight grip of basic computer science. Okay. So now comes another question in coding. Uh, what are all the questions or what are all the types which we should, should study so that we can also get into Amazon? I would say be good. I'm not asking you to be a competitive programmer. It is fine that if you are, but be good with basic data structures such as stacks, queues, linked list, graphs, and trees. You should be really good with these data structures because in interview, you have to code them with pen and paper. And the interviewer would ask you to write the code uh, literally with pen. Okay, so next thing, which website should you focus on while preparing for, uh, while coding? I would say Code Forces, Code Shift for uh, solving the questions and for learning, I would say Hacker Earth and uh, geek for geeks these are the websites i would say that you should stick yourself with do not keep moving over multiple websites and just registering uh, registering on them and do not using them because that is not useful at all you should stick yourself with two three websites and then keep doing it uh, continuously uh, over time i would also say that do not fear of the competition because uh, you are doing it for learning so that you can uh, increase your knowledge and you can crack uh, the interviews for other companies. I'm saying this because, uh, for example, uh, during my interviews final round, the interviewer literally asked me to code traveling salesman problem. So uh, you should be really fine with uh, writing code on paper. And I was fine with that because I prepared for that. Now, uh, are there specific questions uh, related to Amazon? Yes, there are questions. But first, I would say for uh, uh, just before 20 or 25 days before you have to give the interview, start preparing for Am particularly for Amazon. But before that, like for the three, three and a half years of your college, keep coding. Coding will teach you how to think and solve problems. So instead of focusing on one particular company, just learn because you want to learn, not because you want to crack some company. Okay, because that will increase your knowledge, your confidence level and uh, I mean it would increase you in all the dimensions and you will you will not limit yourself to uh, the questions of a particular company. Okay, now comes another question. What are all the projects have I done and what are all the projects should a, a student is supposed to do so that it is helpful for them in their resume. I have done a lot of projects. Uh, one of them was Android app Assistenza. So that basically gives a live attendance of the students on the app itself every day. So that was the problem with me because I had really less uh, attendance and I wanted something for me uh, that uh, I can see my attendance every day. So that was then used by my entire class. Of course, that project actually did not go further because of a few issues. But uh, yeah, that was one project which I did. The second project which I did was on artificial intelligence. I am an artificial intelligence researcher and my main interest is also in AI. So I did that. That was a kind of a normal project. It was a breast cancer detection using deep learning. So we can use the images of the biopsy report and then we can train a deep learning model which can classify whether this image has, a, has cancer or not. So that was another project which I did. Another really interesting project which I did was on a supercomputer. 
that was one of my faculty's PhD project. So when you want to do some project, get to know your faculties because many of them would be pursuing PhDs. So you can actually come in contact with them and you can ask for them whether I can do something for you. That's how you will uh, uh, you will have projects in your resume. Okay, so uh, uh, now uh, uh, one question which uh, I think is important to answer is the time I did Assistenza, that is my Android app, I had no idea that uh, it would be helpful uh, in the future. I did it for myself and then it was helpful for the, my entire class. But there was, there was no future to it afterwards. But an important question was, was it worthy then? Uh, that I, I am spending my time on some project which was not deployed afterwards. So the thing is, because of this project, I got involved in a project worth 1.5 CR funded by central government. So this is what I want to say. When we are not able to see the impact of something, it does not mean that it, it won't have an impact. So keep doing projects. I mean, whatever the problem you face, just solve it. I faced the problem for often and then so I solved it for myself at least and afterwards for the class. So you face any problem, you solve it. You want to make some face recognition algorithm which you can use at your home so that whenever someone comes, they can actually, you can actually see who came and who did not come, who was there, all that. And you can lock, unlock the, the door uh, at runtime. So that could be one project which you can do. So I'm just saying observe your surrounding, surroundings and you will find a lot of issues on which you can work. The only thing is you, sh you should have the will to work. Third question, internships. Are internships important for companies? Yes, they are important. If you have done internships and worked on real-time project, then the interviewer would have questions for you. So he'll ask you like, how did you work? What was the project? And what all did you focus on? How did you solve this? How did you solve this? So you are giving a chance to the interviewer to ask questions to you. So you are giving chance to the interviewer to interact with you, which is very important. Okay, so, but is it compulsory that you have to do internships? No, because there are uh, many of my friends who got into Amazon, but they did not do any internship. The thing is, your work should speak, either your projects, your internships, or the knowledge which you have, the questions which, are, which they are asking in, in the interview, that should speak that you are capable of joining the company. So it is not important uh, that you should definitely do internships. If you do, that's great, because you will have a real world experience of how actually industries work. Another question which I keep uh, hearing is, I am from Tier 2 college, Tier 3 college. So the question comes like this, that uh, Bhaiya, can you please guide me so that I can get into Amazon because I am from a Tier 3 college. I want to say that do not degrade yourself because uh, the time you say that you are from some XYZ Tier college, you're directly saying that you're not capable. So you have accepted the defeat. That's not what a human being is meant for. We do not accept the defeat, all right. You are from a tier three college, you are not even in the college. It does not matter as long as you can find the resources to study and you then study. If you are really great with what you do, Amazon does not even need your degree. They, they just need people who can work for them and who are good at what they work. Okay, so next question, which is very important, like how should you prepare for Amazon interview? One key thing is you should be, you should aware of the company. So know what the company does and there are few principles few co uh, companies have. So be good with them. Like Amazon has 14 leadership principles. So learn about those leadership principles and the time you're answering something to the interviewer, keep those leadership principles in mind and then answer. That would be really helpful for you. I don't say that if you do not know the leadership principle, then you won't get selected. That's not the case because I did not know anything. But the way I spoke probably or whatever I was saying because I had stuff in my plate. So whatever I was saying, the interviewer was able to understand that, uh, yeah, this guy has, uh, has done some work. Another question is, is it important that the code which you write in the interview should be completely executable? No. It, it, the, what the interviewer sees is, whether you can write the code or not, whether you can express whatever the ideas you have into the code. If you can do that and you are doing it right, it does not matter if you miss a semicolon, if you miss some conditional operator or something. That does not matter. The only thing which matters is, are you able to convert whatever the thinking you have into the code? If you have that, that would be great. Uh, like when the interview asked me to solve traveling salesman problem and write the code for it, I was I was explaining him everything about how we should approach the problem and how we can solve it. The thing which he told me was, you are speaking that is fine, but your code should speak. Then I coded for it. 
and I got it. It was not 100% correct code. He understood that I can actually code. So that's how you should be. Be confident, first of all. Like, be powerful, man. This is world. You are here to live and to thrive. You are a great person. So be confident, learn. If you have some fear, face the fear. That's how you do it. You, you have fear of coding, learn the coding. That you are, we are human beings. We have a special capability which most of the animals do not have that we can learn. So if we can learn, you are supposed to learn. Instead of worrying about anything, just learn. That's easy. It's not some rocket science, all right. You'll get it. Now, uh, what does Amazon pay? This is also one question which I face. I would say you can check on websites like Glassdoor and Levels.fyi. They have... Uh, uh, really uh, i'm i guess almost correct information they have because employees employees of the company up uh, enter their salary there and that's anonymous so i guess you can check there uh, it would be fine now there is uh, one more question which is how much time did it take me to prepare for amazon it took me around seven days to prepare for amazon now comes the question are seven days enough when you have done nothing throughout your btech or your bachelor's uh, no, six days will not be enough because for me, I have been working since my first year. Like I did not work because I wanted to get into Amazon. I worked because just I wanted to work. I wanted to learn. So I would say you also do not focus about uh, focus on any company. Of course, you should know that you have to get into a company, but you should uh, focus on learning more than focusing on the end goal. It's all right if you know the end goal, but you should focus on the process. That's important. Important. And th there is one last point which I want to mention. That is the star method. That is the star method methodology with which uh, people usually ask questions. Uh, that is the situation, task, action, and result. So the way you have to present something is what was your situation, why you needed to develop some project. Okay. So that was the reason behind developing you developing the project. It could be simply like. I wanted to do it. I wanted to learn something and I wanted to implement whatever I learned. So that's why I developed this project. Uh, second is task. So what are all things were required to implement that project? Like you have to learn specific ba uh, frame, specific backend frameworks, or maybe you have to learn the few like Django, you have to learn Python, Django, various languages, or maybe you have to be familiar with Amazon cloud, or you have to be familiar with Google cloud, something like that. So these are all the tasks which were there, which which would be there in your plate when you have to implement that project. Okay. Third is action. So action is what all did you explore when you were implementing something like suppose while implementing you could implement a breadth, uh, breadth first search algorithm or a depth first search algorithm or you could uh, compare you can you have multiple options to do the same thing at that time how did you actually quantify which one would be better so you your statistics uh, the, so the statistics of that project should speak like what all how did you compare actually like the cost of the latency things like that so that comes in the action now comes the result part so when your project is done what effort did it reduce in terms of numbers so numbers are very important so what effort did it reduce how did it help you like how many hours of uh, manual effort did you save or uh, like how was it helpful for you in your daily life or how to how many students or to how many people did it impact that's how you're supposed to uh, mention your project in stars uh, situation task action and result it would be clear for you also to write your project in a systematic manner and it would be very easy for someone else also to understand what all did you do all right uh, so that was from my side i hope this video would be useful for everyone who wants to get into companies like amazon so to conclude this video i would say that you should be good with data structures and algorithms and uh, dbms and networking and uh, operating systems those those are the uh, four things which you should have in your plate when you are studying computer science or maybe you want to get into a computer science job second thing would be projects like keep doing interesting projects learn by doing so you do it you do not get it you learn the technology you come back and you implement it again so that's how usually i do my work i learn by doing all right the third thing is internships internships are great if you can have them if you do not have them it's not a big deal uh, you can still keep working on your projects and that, uh, everything would be fine until and unless there is a condition by the company that you should have done internships i guess it would be completely fine because in internships also you do the projects and when you are on yourself you also do the projects so i don't think internships would matter much 
uh, Amazon leadership principles are very important. Uh, be good with them, be thorough with them. One or like few of them are dive deep, uh, learn and explore and uh, frugality. So these are uh, footing leadership principles which you can go through online. All right. Now, what does Amazon pay? You can check them on uh, uh, Glassdoor and uh, levels.fyi. I'll put the link in the description. That's not a problem. And uh, apart from that, you are from Tier 2, Tier 3 or Tier N college. It does not matter as long as you have a great confidence within you and you are ready to work. It's all right. You will be there, my friend. OK, if you have any other issues you want me to highlight or you want to know, you can actually ping me on LinkedIn or you can comment here and I would try to resolve that because I have actually completed. I have completed four years of my life in BTEC. So two years of which I was in internships. I think I should be helpful to this world and uh, to uh, to my country. So yeah, that's what I am doing. You all will be there. We all will be successful. Thanks for watching.